Already, Delivery. Empathy Circle Facilitator Support Group, Carolina Kubiak talking about facilitation. Take it away. Carolina Kubiak. Mm. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to, to, this is something I do together with Marta. I want to talk about training. We didn't have opportunity to share with you much about what we are doing. So we had the meeting with, well, maybe a little bit explanation. In Extinction Rebellion movement, there is a sort of body called global support. This is something that is independent from XRUK and supports all the local groups and working groups around the world internationally. And in this unit, so, so to speak, there are different working groups. One of them is Regenerative Culture Working Group, where I am a member, and there is another called Trainings. And they provide training uh, uh, trainings for all XR movement, different kinds of training. Uh, since we develop this process, training process with uh, Leona team, and we feel like it, it it's working. Leona, uh, yeah, uh, it, and we feel like it's working. And Le Leona already started her own uh, circles, and we are in kind of progress we decided to offer this, uh, this program to um, global support trainings. And we are after the first talk that was very optimistic, that it gives me a lot of optimism. Mm, we will <clears throat> have to make some exchange information yet. Uh, we uh, with them, but it seems to me that we very shortly we will start doing trainings. We we'll wait for uh, some information from them. They said that they are impressed. They that we have already ready program to execute. They didn't expect that they thought that it, they will have to develop this program with us. Uh, so it's good and they will uh, create some tools uh, that helps to um, how to say that bring people to the training and there will be registration form there will be feedback form so it will be more um, kind of organized systemic style we have to we have to kind of match to the system trainings have the group trainings have and uh, probably we will offer some of the tools during our calls that's what i want to say that probably uh, we will sometimes offer the the link to registration call for xr activists uh, to registration form so they can click and decide if they want to participate and there will be such thing. Marta, would you like to add something? I feel like I'm mumbling again. Sorry, Carolina, apologies. I was a bit distracted here. Um, so, yeah, so it sounded good. It sounded productive. We need to come back to them with helping create this questionnaire form and the feedback form. Mm -hmm. And, and then we need, they'll help us format the training materials into more XR looking training materials. Yeah. And I don't know if you said already, because I was distracted, but it was about that we'll have to, well, we'll have at least one person from their, their team doing the training with us. And we plan to train trainers at, at some point. That's, you know, the aim. Because mm -hmm. the, the whole plan is to eventually make ourselves redundant. Yeah, so uh, we are planning for next two months, we are planning to do um, two trainings a week, uh, two different times for different time zones. And uh, obviously every cohort is 
will be trained in two weeks at least and then co-facilitating with us so it will be a little bit complicated and after some time we hope that some of those facilitators actually join to us to learn training that's the idea so as marta said we will be redundant but this is you know long-term thinking and yeah. we'll we'll move at the uh, at the pace of trust and we'll try and build something yeah. rather than rush yeah so but we can still yeah. we can still have the vision even you know we're not rushing to it but there is this idea that we're trying to to build something and also that it's very clear because I, for me personally i i i fear this thing of maybe i shouldn't but of the people that go and watch some videos about empathy circles and then all of a sudden think they can facilitate empathy circles and and they might very well be able to do it um but i'd like there to be a certain if possible consistency in in xr uh in empathy circles that are held because we can't guarantee the safe space like there's a conversation we had the other day we can't do that um but but hopefully over time people get to be able to have a level of experience uh that that encourages them to keep coming back and to keep building it with us um yeah so i only want to add that so far we have participants also in your cohort in ireland uh marta we have participants who are kind of all therapists uh, trainers different type of trainers facilitators people who have kind of natural skills they're simply good in uh, uh, empathic listening and so it's kind of safe space for training for me but i assume that if we become more more and more popular there will be people who come who will need much much more training than just learning the the method and then learning facilitation and then <laughs> starting to uh to um co-facilitate and in some point facilitate uh, um, independently uh, in some point there will be people who will need much more training i think and we have to also find a way to do that yeah Marta. Uh, and just to add that i yeah i've got a, a list on my uh, <laughs> wall of, of people that that i want to get into training uh, famous famous wall <laughs> but um you know slowly but progressing but i think i definitely like to get a cohort of people trained in xr uk and and we've had lots of well quite a few people from canada that have been coming to um to the xr empathy circles and that would be probably very good at it so i think it's maybe at some point when we have it settled carolina also contacting people actively you know that we've seen have a profile and have a group that they probably want to play it with and if if there are any suggestions from you or questions because then i would like to ask something that will be not recorded but now i would like to ask if you have any suggestions any impressions anything you would like to share yeah, Edwin it's and great, then Bill. Yeah, great to uh, have this video get, get a little crackly here, so I don't know what, I got a, something with the drivers. I hope that's working. That's why I turn my video off sometimes because it, it has this issue. Um, yeah, it's just it's exciting to get XR more involved and uh, for them to take it on a sort of more officially. So I think it's a great step and you know, that you can kind of build uh, the resource and kind of, kind of helps the snowball grow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bill? 
You are muted, Bill. Yeah, sorry. I just wanted to say that, you know, I find that uh, putting people back into the experience of the circle helps to slow things down. And so I just encourage you to kind of, you know, uh, that's a good kind of natural way to get people to um, find their center. That's all. Thanks. Okay, was that it, Carolina? Or, if or there is no. Do you want to do 